From Face Punch Studios, the creators of Rust, a new app has been released which allows you to watch your players' progress, review the server map, keep up with other members of your team, and more right from your Android and iOS devices. The great news is, your Shockbite hosted Rust server is fully compatible with this new app. My name is Stiflerd, and welcome to a Rust server tutorial from Shockbite Hosting. Today, I'm going to tell you how to pair the Rust Plus app with your server so that you can take advantage of all the features that will make your gameplay experience even better. The very first thing you want to do before you can connect your server and smartphone via the Rust Plus app is send us a support ticket. In order to use the Rust Plus app, we need to open a port on your server so that the app can connect to it. Make sure you're logged into your account and let us know which active Rust server on your account you'd like us to open the port for. As soon as we've opened it for you, you'll get an email confirming the port number that you'll use later. Next, go ahead and install the Rust Plus app from Facepunch Studios onto your Android or iOS device. We'll put links to those down in the description of this video. Once you've installed and logged into the app with your Steam account, make sure that push notifications are enabled for the app so that you can get important information in real time. As soon as you've received the email from us confirming your port number, you can move on to editing the server's config files to activate the Rust Plus feature. We're going to use an FTP client called WinSCP to show how this is done, but you can also use FileZilla or the built-in file manager in our control panel. If you aren't sure how to do that, click the tutorial in the eye in the corner of this video and then come back here once you're all caught up. Let your players know what's going on and then stop your server. Using the FTP client, Navigate to the server slash my underscore server underscore identity slash CFG folder and look for the server.cfg file. Open the server.cfg file, or if it isn't there yet, simply create the file and open it. Now look for two lines, app.port and app.publicIP. Edit those lines just as you see here with the port and IP address that we sent you in the email and save the file. If you don't see those lines, you can type them in for yourself on separate lines at the bottom of the file. Once you save and upload the edited file, you can restart your Rust server from the control panel. When the server is back online, join like you normally do and then press escape to see the game menu. Select Rust Plus from the bottom of the list and in the new view that appears, click the green pair with server button on the bottom right side. After a moment, the view should change to let you know that the server is now open to be connected to. Now head into the app on your phone where you should receive a notification telling you that the server is now open for you to connect to. Click the green pair server button and you're all set. As you navigate the world and play with your team members, the app will receive new notifications to keep you up to speed with what's happening on the server. Your other players can also pair their app with the server so that they can stay informed too. And you can subscribe to our channel to get notifications whenever we post publish new Rust server tutorials here. It's a win-win-win. For more information about the Rust Plus companion app and all of its features, head to the link in the description of this video. If you have any questions or if the app doesn't seem to be working, feel free to reach out to us at shockbite.com contact so that we can help you. Thanks so much for watching today, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.